going on? We're in a greenhouse, you can see, plastic. And um, we're going to be doing something a little different today. Uh, I have a pot right beside the camera, right down there, with the cucumbers growing in it. And they are, I can never remember the name of these cucumbers. They're a new breed, uh, they're a new type that I'm growing this year. They're, they're pickling cucumbers, um, something SMR, I'll, I'll get the name of it. Anyhow, um, in this big pot, I have six cucumber plants. I've decided we're only gonna cut it and grow three. So I gotta get into this big tangled mess. I'll show you guys what I'm working with here. I gotta get into this tangled mess here because I need to cut it down to three plants. I was a little overzealous with, sorry. I was a little overzealous there with six of them growing. So we're gonna cut it back to three. And the reason is because I just got the brand new Mars Hydro light hooked up in the ceiling, trellis nettings on the wall, and I need to get these cucumbers to start growing up the trellis. Because once they start to flower, right, I'm going to have to hand pollinate them to, and to get cucumbers down here because I don't have bugs. Like, there's no pollinators. It, I'm in my basement, right? The greenhouse is in my basement during the winter. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm in Ontario and it's the middle of winter right now. It's February 19th, I think it is. So I'm growing food for my family in my basement. So what do you say? You want to get to it? Let's um, see if we can get into the middle of this pot and we're going to cut every second cucumber plant. I'm pretty sure six lived. I can't tell right now. Uh, we're just going to have to kind of dig into the middle and see what we find, all right? So here's what we're looking at, okay? We've got vines. They're already creeping out onto the ground, and they're growing up the back of the trellis netting. Tendrils have already, see, they've already started to cling to the trellis netting, and I don't want that because I want to move this pot down that way, right? So they're underneath that light. And then under this light here, we're going to grow the tomatoes, okay? So I need to thin these out, and then we're going to push the pot down there, and then I'm gonna get some plant clips and then we're gonna start training and trellising the cucumbers to grow up. So one's gonna go a bit on an angle, one's gonna grow straight up and the other one's gonna kind of grow out like that. So they have space to fill in this wall. This trellis netting side to side is nine feet. And under here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have two big pots like that one with two tomato plants in each one. And then we're gonna trellis the tomatoes up there right? So it keeps them all off the wall. There's about eight inches gap between the wall and the trellis. You see where my hand hooks on it there? So that's the plan. So, and uh, I also want to apologize in advance. My kids are upstairs. It's family day, so they're home and my dog's upstairs and they're rather loud, even though they know I'm filming. So um, please disregard the uh, loud noises you're going to hear from upstairs. Okay, here we go. So I've got my Fiskars pruners. If you guys are looking for a really good set of pruners, okay, these Fiskars are great. They've got a great return spring on them, and they're also um, part of the Arthritis Society's recommended tools. So if you guys, especially for some of my older viewers, you know, if you've got arthritis in your hands or whatever, these things are fantastic. So what we're going to do is we need to get into the center of this mess. And we're going to cut out every second plant. And I don't even know where one begins and where the other ends. Okay, so this vine here. No, you can't see. Move the tripod. Oh, you can't even see. Whoa. Okay, so this left-hand vine, that's the first one. So we're going to keep that. And then we're gonna get into the middle here. There's two. There's three. Okay, there's four. Where's that one growing? Four is growing through the middle and, oh, and down the back, okay. And five. So, let's start by, you guys see that okay? All right, 
Let's start by coming in here and we're just going to take this one right out. You guys see that? Bye bye cucumber. And now we have to untangle this mess because it's probably all tied in with the rest of them. Yeah. And this is why I didn't want to leave it this long because I knew that this is what's going to happen. Okay. So there, look at that. We cut that one out. Gone. Oh, that's opening it right up, isn't it? We'll get some sun in there. Because we already have some sick and yellow dying leaves, right? So we want to we want to also, while we're in here, we want to clean all this out. We don't want disease. We don't want dying leaves. And that's the nice thing about having it growing up the trellis netting. Is it's going to be a lot easier to see what's happening with the plant. And to deal with it as it goes. So we're just going to, as we're working our way through, we'll just trim stuff off. Okay, so we've got the one on the left. We've got two growing side by side here. Okay, and one on the end. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to keep the one on the left right here. We're going to keep the one in the middle, which is right here. We're also then going to come in and remove this one. Wow, that's healthy guys. Look at that, eh? Just chop that sucker right out. Gone. Okay, now we're down to one, is that one plant? Yes, that's one plant. So anything not healthy, we're gonna trim it out. Wow, look at that, it's already growing multiple vines. See, this is why we need to get it up on the trellis. So I've got, ah, oh, damn. All right, my battery indicator just went off and it froze my video. All right, so we have this one, this one I'm holding, and this one right here. That's all from one plant. So it's good that we kept that because now we can move the whole thing over. We can move the whole thing over and then I can start tying everything up onto here. But I'm gonna actually have to go plug my phone in or this whole video is just gonna fall upon itself because my battery is gonna die. So I'm gonna go plug my phone in and uh, I'll be back All right, shortly. ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry about that rude interruption. Got my phone charged up a little bit. Now what do you say we get back to her? All right, so here's the plan. All this mess here is all one plant. I want to get it down to one vine just to start. I don't want more vines coming off the plant before those vines, before the main vine is on the trellis, right? Oh, where's my hand? Before the main vine is on the trellis, so that way I can start to tie them off horizontally. But until that point, so I'll show you what we're doing here. So you see this one here? Okay. This one is coming off the main vine right at there, you see? Right at ground level. And we don't want that. So we'll cut that one off. And then we have this main vine here, which is in my left hand main vine and another sucker. So we are going to come in here and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut that right off. 
So now what we have done is we just have one main vine. And we're going to check on the other plants. See, and we have another one here, you see? And they're going to grow all the way down this vine. So I'm not worried about it, right? And I mean, these plants are only weeks old. So then we're going to come look at... We're going to come look at the other ones here. And we're going to see if the same thing is happening. Yeah, see? We have another sucker growing right here. Let's zoom that in for you guys a little bit to get a little better look. Right, so see? We have another sucker here. I'm going to take that. I'm going to get rid of that. And then we're just going to look up the vine. See? We have another one. Can't see that there. So we have another one growing right here. We don't want that. Like I said, we don't want any suckers growing until we can get the length of the vine onto the trellis. So we look at the other one. There's nothing there, nothing there. So we're good. Okay. So now that we have thinned that right out, we need to move this big pot. We need to move this big pot over there about, oof, uh, about three feet, give or take. So I'm just, I have to move. See, I've got a horseradish plant growing right here. And, um, I probably need to feed it. It doesn't look very good. I'm not sure what's going on. I've never grown horseradish inside. This is just a cutting that I took from a horseradish that I harvested. So I may just cut those sick leaves off. So I'm going to move that pot out of the way. We're going to move this pot over there and we'll keep going. We've done our moving stuff around. Look at that. See, we've swapped places with the horseradish. That looks really bad, doesn't it? I wonder if there's spider mites on it. I'm going to have to take a look after. I hope the spider mites haven't jumped from plant to plant. All right. Even though we did treat them. So. All right. Because we had spider mites on the basil. And we treated those with sapers. Okay. So next. We're going to take the vine on the left hand. On the right hand side that you can see there. We're going to bring it up to the trellis. And we're going to start training it. To go up the right hand side. The center plant, we're going to train it up the center, and the left hand one, we're going to train it over here. And we're just going to use plant clips. If you guys aren't using these, I really suggest you get some. They're super cheap off Amazon, and look, that's it. Easy, right? A little harder to take apart one handed, but. And these things are great. Take them on, take them off. Don't buy the cheap ones though, because the cheap ones break. All right, so let's start off with the right-hand side. Get our clips. Now you gotta be careful with cucumber vines. They will take some manipulation, but they will also break fairly easy if you bend them in a way that they're not happy with. So I'm just being super careful Moving them a little at a time. Get one clip on. Okay. All right, we got one on. Can you guys see that? I can't even see the camera. Yeah? Okay, good. We get the next one on. Now, these tendrils, oh, look at that. We forgot to cut this one off. So these tendrils will just naturally now just attach themselves to the trellis netting. And by tomorrow, this cucumber plant will be permanently affixed onto the, uh, to the trellis netting, so. And we're basically, at this point, we're just gonna use the clips as guides to just kind of make the plant sort of grow 
where we want it to. Okay, so you see, got the first one growing up. Okay, let's get the next one. Grab another clip. the center and clip and two okay there we go look at that guys we'll do the third one Angle the camera a little more. We're going to clip him here. And then we're just going to move this one. hard to move around in here because I've got lights right over top of my head okay there we go look at that one two and three and they're all clipped and now they're really gonna start taking off so basically what we're gonna do guys is we're going and gals we're gonna let these vines grow right up to the top of the trellis netting okay and we can just keep pulling that light up that light right there we're gonna let that, and we can pull that right up to the ceiling. And when that plant, when the tops of the vines reach the top, we're just gonna pinch them. And in the process of them growing up, we are going to selectively allow certain, we're going to selectively allow certain suckers to grow in and just fill in this general area but i'm not going to allow any cucumbers or suckers to grow past the midpoint of this trellis because we're going to have four tomato plants growing up in here which we're also going to um train and tie all up into this trellis netting so so everything needs to have the right amount of space and that way things are not fighting for light with each other and everything is happy and healthy so all right let's back myself out of here and not smoke my head on the top of that light oh and i hit the other light yeah figures so there we go guys look at that looking better already now i'm gonna i'm gonna trim that off the horseradish you guys want to see something check this out this oregano plant that's the one i trimmed back uh, I made oregano oil. If you guys haven't seen my video on making oregano oil, uh, it's basically Mother Nature's medicine, right? Check my video out. Uh, I'll try and remember to put the link in the description. But I clipped this all out. This was a big, nasty jungle. Look at that. All the oregano is all coming back. This stuff is almost as indestructible as cockroaches. So we're just going to let this pot fill all back in with nice, fresh, clean oregano and then uh, we've got these things going on we've got our our black seeded simpson lettuce we've got the basil that we're working on we're trying to get it healthy again after the spider mite infestation and we have peppers and tomatoes in here which we're going to up pot um, the peppers are going to go into the same size of pots as the basil and then the tomatoes are going to go into big fabric pots or plastic pots i haven't figured out which ones i might use yet so so lots of work coming this is my third video today i've filmed so all right guys hope you like this one and uh there's lots and lots more to come and uh here's my new mars hydro light so it's up it's running one of the next projects we're going to do a super simple video will only take a couple minutes we're going to move this light 
over to here somewhere because I need to be able to move around the greenhouse. Hope you guys liked it. Have an awesome day. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel. If you're not new here, I'm glad you're still here. All right, grow good food, guys. See ya. Bye.